In today's video, we will learn about important consumer goods which keeps us hygiene and also have a fundamental role in the cleanliness of our homes. Let's begin with soap. Soap has become an essential chemical in personal cares as they are effective in killing wide range of microorganisms such as bacteria, fungus and viruses. Not only that, soap has been developed into many forms such as solid, liquid and even into foams. Soaps are added with essential herb oils and chemicals that enhances our skin health and beauty. Before we dive into soap making, let's rewind to the history where soap was first discovered. The soap was discovered thousand years ago by boiling animal fats from goats and cows with alkaline wood ashes. The soap produced from animal fats were known as tallow soaps. Surprisingly, in the past, soap were first not used for personal care, but to wash clothes in textile industries and to clean cooking utensils. Let's move on to the process of soap making also known as saponification. Saponification is the process of heating fat or oil with an alkali. In other words, it is the hydrolysis of ester by an alkali. Examples of vegetable oils that are commonly used in soap making are palm oil, coconut oil and olive oil. The following saponification reaction is represented by the following word and chemical equation. Esters from the palm oil boiled with alkaline sodium hydroxide produces soap called sodium palmitate and byproduct produced is glycerol. Notice that sodium palmitate has a long chain of alkyl group which can be represented by R. Examples of soap molecules are sodium palmitate, sodium laurate and potassium stearate. The long chain tail like consists of hydrocarbon is known as covalent portion while the ionic head part is known as an ionic portion. As such, when soaps are placed in water, the ionic head has water-loving property also known as hydrophilic, while the hydrocarbon tail has opposite effect towards water known as hydrophobic. These properties have made soap molecules to be easily represented by a zigzag line with a round symbol. Next, let's look into detergents which has been widely used to wash our clothes and keep our homes clean. Cleaning agents which are not soap are also called detergents. Petroleum and plant source oil are the common raw materials in the manufacture of detergents. The detergent process begins with a long chain hydrocarbon obtained from petroleum fraction which is then converted into organic acid. The reaction here is called sulfonation, where sulfuric acid is reacted with long chain alcohol, producing laurel hydrogen sulfate. The next step, the neutralization reaction between laurel hydrogen sulfate with an alkali to produce sodium laurel sulfate. And its byproduct, water. Common examples of detergents are sodium alkyl sulfate and sodium alkyl benzene sulfonate. Detergent molecules also possess the hydrophobic tail and hydrophilic head when placed into water. Moving on, Let's understand the cleansing action of soap and detergent molecules against the grease on materials. Soap and detergent molecules lowers the surface tension of water. The hydrophilic portion dissolves in water while the hydrophobic dissolves in grease. When agitation forces are applied during washing process, the water molecule attracts soap ions 
and detergent ions making the grease to leave the surface of the materials. Further agitation also causes the grease to be broken into smaller droplets. This formation of soap and detergent molecules during cleansing action is known as micelles. Have you ever walked into the mall not knowing which detergent is the best for your clothes but end up choosing based on its fragrances? Now it's the time to look into the different additives added into the detergents and their functions. Whitening agents such as sodium hypochlorite are added into bleaching detergents to make your clothes appear white. Biological enzymes such as amylase, protease, cellulase and lipase are added to break down oil, food and dirt on our clothes. Antifoam agents such as silicon, ethanolamide are added to prevent too much foams produced during washing. Fluorescent material absorbs UV radiation from sun and emits blue light, making clothes appear brighter. Drying agents such as anhydrous sodium sulfate and sodium silicate maintains detergent powder to be dry when exposed in air. Besides this, builders such as sodium tripolyphosphate enhances cleaning of detergent by softening the water. Last but not least, suspension agents such as carboxymethylcellulase in detergents prevents dirt particles from redepositing onto the clean clothes. I hope the video helped you to understand the chemistry behind soap and detergent. That's all for now. Thank you.